After taking part in a beach clean at Chesil Bay with Surfers Against Sewage, we found lots of plastic items. Chesil Bay is a local nature reserve located on the River Itchen. We were surprised at the amount of microplastics and nurdles on the beach ingrained within the sediment. In the marine environment, microplastics are plastics smaller than 5mm and larger than 1 nanometer. They are contaminants in the marine environment as they can be ingested by marine organisms and transfer through the food chain. They can then be ingested by humans through the consumption of seafood, particularly filter feeders like mussels. A study by Gallagher in 2016 found that the majority of microplastics in the Solent were from cosmetic products or had been broken down from larger plastics. The River Itchen contained the largest number of microplastics compared to the River Hamber and Test, attributed to its higher population and a plastic-based industry located on the river. This could explain why we found so many pieces of plastic in Chesil Bay. Globally, plastic production has increased from 0.5 to 260 million tonnes per annum since 1950, and on average 75% of all marine litter consists of plastics. This plastic debris often ends up in ocean gyres, which are formed from surface currents through the Coriolis Force and Ekman currents. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest of the gyres, containing between 1 and 3.5 trillion floating plastic items, 94% of which, by number, are microplastics, meaning there is more plastic than plankton in these gyres. Microplastics can absorb pollutants from seawater such as PCBs, which have detrimental effects on marine organisms and can enter food chains. Entanglement is another large threat to marine organisms. If they are unable to escape, they may starve, drown, or become debilitated. Plastic debris can also be ingested and cause intestinal blockages. The aim of Sustainable Development Goal 14, Life Below Water, is to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. Target 14.1 aims, by 2025, to significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, including plastic. This goal aspires to protect marine ecosystems and support climate change mitigation. In May 2019, the UK Environment Secretary issued a ban on plastic straws, drink stirrers and plastic stem cotton buds starting from April 2020. This followed the success of the government's ban on microbeads and the introduction of the 5p charge on single-use plastic bags, which saw a decrease in plastic bag use by 86%. The Ocean Cleanup Project aims to reduce 90% of floating ocean plastic by 2040. These passive systems have been employed into every ocean gyre, collecting both small and large plastics. This is estimated to remove 50% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in five years. Increasing awareness about the impacts of plastics on the marine environment is vital in order to drive change on an individual level. All over the world, people are joining the movement to reduce marine plastic pollution. New technologies are being implemented to collect and remove plastic from our oceans, as well as to increase awareness of plastic pollution. Protests and beach cleanups are becoming more frequent, as more people are pushing for change from higher authorities to implement new strategies to reduce our plastic usage.